Hey, I'm Josh from Vacuum Zero S in Colorado, and we're gonna be doing a hose replacement today on this Shark Model NV752. This video should be applicable to anybody who has any NV750 um, or the like, uh, or if you recognize the looks of this power head that we're about to work on, uh, it should also be uh, relevant to you. So this is our head. It has this longer piece on it. That's what we're looking at. So if you have a head to something like that, what we're doing today is this lower hose right here is cracked. It's a super common issue with shark. Everybody knows it, has not been resolved, probably never will be resolved. Shark does not sell these hoses. We do sell these hoses. You can order them. I'll put the link in below um, for the hose for this. So we're gonna first take off the base plate. And it looks like this machine has a Phillips head all the way around. And then in the center, they have a security bit. So we'll pull out the Phillips and then we'll pull out the security. So at this point, I'm gonna point out across the front, we have one, two smaller uh, screws right there. In the dead center of the front, we have a screw that's not only short, but it has a smaller head. So we have two short screws that have the same size head as everything else on either side. In the middle, we have a short screw that also has a small head. In the center of the machine, holding down the clear cover, we have another small screw with a small head. All right, so now we're gonna take out the security bit that's in there. Uh, these bits can be a little tough to acquire. I'll put a link below. Uh, we sell a bit set, which is all of the various size security bits that Shark uses on all of their machines. So it's guaranteed to have whatever bit it is that you need. This particular security bit on this model is a T20. I know a lot of people have commented on our videos in the past that you can get security bits from Harbor Freight. I know that is often the case. Last I checked, the bit set that they have does not have a T20. It has everything else you need, but not a T20. So I struggled removing the lid on this one momentarily because there's another screw here, which I missed. That screw is covered with, it was covered with a small piece of plastic. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. I don't know if that's a part of the machine or if that's something that the customer ran over and it just perfectly covered that screw. But there's our final screw. So we should have a total of 11 fasteners that have been removed. Again, um, all the same size, except for there are two short fasteners on either end of this brush roller, They're the same size head as all the rest of them. And then there's two small fasteners here, which are both shorter and have a smaller head. And finally, there is a T20 right there, a security bit. All right, so that will pop right off. And fortunately, this customer has also authorized full service, so we're going to be, we're gonna clean this machine up and service the brush roll and the like after we're done with the hose replacement. All right, so you'll notice on this, there's wires coming out the side here. The more you move this around and the more you get those wires moved around, the more you're gonna to have to reroute those wires back into there again after you're done. So, try to leave the wires in there as much as possible without moving them around any more than you have to. The first thing I'm gonna do is there's a wire inside of this hose. I'm gonna use these wire cutters. I'm gonna cut the wire in half. And then this pops right off. This we're gonna to need to glue our new hose into. And then you'll see the other half of the hose is in here. I'm gonna grab one end of the wire and I'm essentially gonna pull this out and it's gonna come unraveled. Now you can see I'm getting just wire now. Over here I had the plastic and now just wire is coming out, which means that the plastic is getting left inside the head. That's potentially problematic if we can't get the plastic out. We usually can. It's glued in in there. So this is kind of stripping the wire out from, oh, the whole thing just popped out for me. Sometimes this will stick in there. You can get needle nose and you can pull out this plastic piece. That occasionally happens. Other times it just pops out. Sometimes it gets really, really, really stuck. So we're gonna do the same thing on this. We're gonna just pull that. 
So this end is readily accessible and it's also pretty dirty. I'm gonna spray some isopropyl alcohol on it uh, to try to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so that is substantially better. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. The type of adhesive that we're going to use actually adheres to dirty surfaces to a great degree. So it shouldn't be a problem. That should be, uh, that should be pretty good. Uh, up in here, it's almost impossible to clean it out. I'm gonna vacuum it out a little bit. Um, I suppose you could use a bottle brush, but I've never had a problem with those hoses coming undone or the type of adhesive we have uh, not adhering properly. <laughs> All right, so the adhesive I'm using today, I actually don't particularly like. Uh, I'm in our Fort Collins store, which is not our where I normally work, and we don't have any of the adhesive here. I will put a link. We sell like many bottles, many tubes of the adhesive that we use that are they're small. They're enough to do one or maybe two if you're if you're careful. It'll actually easily do two shark hose assemblies. Um, but that way, you get a good adhesive. You definitely do not want to use super glue or any of the glues that dry, uh, dry uh, like super dry, because you need to maintain some flexibility um, when you're gluing hoses. So the glue that we, we use uh, maintains flexibility. This glue I don't like because it has a really, 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 really nasty odor. Um, this tech room is very well ventilated, but the stuff that I usually like to use, it's at our other stores that that we'll link to below. It doesn't have the awful odor that this does. So you essentially just screw the screw the hose in right there. Um, and then I'm going to I'm going to apply some adhesive to the other side of the hose and put it back in there. And I'm going to again screw it in. All right. So this is going to actually set inside of there. So I'm gonna slide the top in first, and I'm gonna look at the bottom, and there's a peg on the bottom of this. And I'll line the peg on the bottom up. And then over here is the exhaust port, all right? And then I'm gonna put all my wires down here. Make sure those runs, wires run through that channel right there. And snap the top on. All right, and so as a reminder, we have the one skinny Phillips head that went right there. Another skinny Phillips head here. We had a T20 in this case that went there. And then all the way around, all the rest of the screws were the same size. And that's how it goes back together. Easy peasy. That part's the simple part. All right, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully we kept one more shark out of the landfill. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you for watching.